Hi, my name is Jackie and welcome to my channel. My channel about... Tea! I decided to do a What I Drink in the Day video today to kind of help me get back on track because I don't know if you noticed but I didn't do a May empties video, and that's because I really didn't drink a whole lot of tea in May. I switched to coffee. And I switched to coffee because my son has been going through what feels like this perpetual sleep regression. That's probably also why I hadn't filmed too much in May. I just was super tired, like, like, I mean, Look at you, girl. I got bags under my eyes. They're all wrinkly. That was a really awful close-up. <laughs> yeah, I didn't sleep much last night. My hair's a mess. Today is laundry day because I've just been putting it off and have, like, no clean clothes. So today I'm drinking Reindeer Fuel by Adagio Teas, and it is a blend of black tea, toasted mate, uh, mint, ginger and cocoa nibs and chocolate flavoring. Probably not in that order. I think I messed up the order. This is another chocolate tea that Adagio has gotten right. Like I I am quite the fan of this one. Um, I originally picked it up, um, I originally started drinking this because like I said, I've been drinking coffee, coffee? I've been drinking coffee and I wanted to switch back to tea. And um, I know, Mate is um, a high caffeine content, as is the black tea, so it seemed like a good tea to transition back with. Plus it just tastes really good. I doctored mine up with a little bit of honey and um, it really tastes like mint chocolate chip ice cream. I'm going to try to make an effort in June to drink more tea, especially since I just bought a bunch of tea. I actually have another package on the way. Oh, Adagio teas, why do you do this to me? You, <sighs> Since I'm still a little bit tired, I'm gonna go ahead and make myself another cup of black tea. And um, I, I'm gonna try this orange black tea from Adagio Teas. It's just black tea, orange peel, so natural orange flavor. It smells kind of like tang or like an orange drink. This is what it looks like. Uh, you can just see the orange peel there, but mostly it's just black tea and orange flavoring, I think, so. I'm just gonna do one scoop. And then I'm gonna go ahead and let that steep for about three minutes. So my tea is a lot better than I had anticipated. I know that sounds really bad, but it was literally like when I was placing an order, there was just a thing that said, hey, we think you'd like these samples. Try them at 50% off. I'm sorry, I'm squeezing some food out here. Try them for 50% off, and they were like a dollar. So like, how do you say no to a dollar sample of tea? Not that, I mean, that just means it was $2. How do you say no to, $2, to a $2 sample? I don't. That's why I find myself in this predicament. Think of it as like an Earl Grey tea, but the flavor of the, the citrus is not as sharp. It's a much more mellow, orangey citrus flavor. And now you're probably asking yourself, but wait, Jackie, weren't you just wearing a different shirt earlier? Why, yes. Yes, I was. But then a package arrived on my doorstep a day early, and it was from the Adagio Teas 20-year sale. So I had like free shipping and if you spent $39, then you got a free t-shirt. And so that is what I'm wearing. It's the Know Your Farmers campaign from Adagio. And of course, I'm just gonna do a little, a little mini haul just because I have it here right now. Let's see what I got. I don't even remember what I purchased. So here we have the lychee rose green, which is another one of the pole teas. I've already done the review for the rooibos pecan turtle, and then I just posted the review for the blackberry sage oolong. So this is the third of the three pole teas that I'm gonna do a taste test about, and then I'll let you know which one is the best. 
Then I have Dragon Fruit Dream, and this seems like it would be a really delicious iced tea. It has apple pieces, rose hips, hibiscus, orange, lemon, verbena, dragon fruit, pineapple pieces, rose petals, marigold flowers, and strawberries. Yum. Yum, yum, yum. Perfect for the hot weather that's going to come soon. I have elderberry wine, and now I feel like I got it just because, it, I mean, I think it was new. It was on the front page of Adagio Teas on the website. But now that I'm reading the the ingredients, I'm kind of nervous, especially since the very first ingredient on this is hibiscus. So definitely this is gonna be an iced tea for me, um, but it has hibiscus, rose hips, elderberry, which I have no idea what elderberry tastes like. Euchinacea? That sounds like medicine. Apple pieces, lemongrass, raspberries, and blue corn flowers. Uh, I have honey bush banana nuts, and then we have watermelon cooler, which is gonna be another iced tea. A Scottish breakfast, I finally got this. Every time I've gone to buy this, this has been, you got some peach on your face. Now it's on my skirt, because <laughs> I'm a mom. Anyways, every time I go to buy this, the Scottish breakfast tea, uh, it is never in stock, so, when I saw that it was available, I definitely <coughs> had to get some. Um, and I love, like I love an English breakfast tea, I love an Irish breakfast tea. Uh, and this is, this looks like it's just a blend of different teas. It has Assam Melody Tea, Kimun Concerto Tea, Yunan, Yunanjig Tea, and Ceylon Sonata Tea. So it's just a blend of four different uh, black teas available through Adagio. Oh yeah. Okay, so uh, Adagio released their uh, seasonal, summer seasonal blends. And uh, when I was on maternity leave, I discovered the um, amazingness that is the Key Lime Herbal. I had to buy the big bag of it instead of just a sample, uh, partially because it is a seasonal tea. It's not, like I can get, it's not like I can get it whenever I want. This stuff is so good. It's really, I mean, hibiscus is the first ingredient, so it can be quite tart. Um, but I, I love this with a little bit of sugar. Oh, it is like dessert. I haven't tried this iced actually. I've only ever tried it, um, hot. So I'm going to brew this iced and I feel like that's going to, I mean, I feel this is obviously a tea that was, um, intended to be consumed iced. So I just feel like that's going to make it taste even better. Can't wait to try this. So excited. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. All right, and last but not least, um, at the beginning of this year, Adagio released their matcha sticks, and I'm not a matcha drinker to begin with. I don't think I've ever even had matcha. Like, I've had matcha-flavored things. I know at the Tea Leaf Project, she's been doing matcha Mondays, and I, I, this is me trying to jump on the matcha train because she just makes them sound really amazing. I am trying, I just have the, uh, I, I bought their Discover box, uh, which comes with eight, eight different matcha sticks. So, so there's two of each flavor in here. You got black tea, blueberry matcha, jasmine, oolong, peach matcha, raspberry matcha, sweet matcha, which is just, I think, regular green matcha with, sweetened with uh, sugar, and then traditional matcha. And you should just be able to... Add the stick to like a bottle of water and shake it up and go. Oh, cool. I have over 100 points on my Adagio account. So now I have like a little gift certificate that I can apply to my next purchase. Just what I needed <laughs> to spend more money. I decided to make a pitcher of iced tea and just put it in the fridge for the week since it's supposed to be kind of warm over the weekend. And what I brewed up is this Berry Blast Iced Tea from Adagio Teas, and it is rose hips, hibiscus, cranberries, on um, like natural forest berry flavor, whatever that means, and then blueberry flavor. And uh, this is just, these are like pre-measured pouches. So I don't have to fool around with anything and you just do one pouch per quart of water. Uh, 
Ah, bugger. Look at that mess. Look at that mess. Actually, you can't even see it. There it is. So it's supposed to be steeped for like two to three minutes, I think. Three to five minutes. Um, and I steeped mine longer than that. I don't actually know how long I steeped my tea. You know why? Because I'm my own woman. I march to the beat of a different drum. I can't be boxed in. Also, I just forgot about it. So, um, but I wanted to turn the camera around here so that you could actually see like the color of it. Oh, I just smudged it. Ignore these stupid wall sconces. They're really ugly. That's not my decorating style. That was the previous owners of the house. Uh, and we just never got around to taking them down. They don't even have lights in it. They're like for tea, they're for tea candles or something. So it's kind of dumb. Anyways, this is how it brews up. It's just this beautiful, deep burgundy color almost, I think is how I would describe this burgundy. And now I'm gonna go ahead and make my afternoon tea because it is about that time. The tea that I'm going to be preparing for myself is this rooibos lemon cloud, which is rooibos tea, lemongrass, marigold flowers, natural vanilla flavor, and natural lemon flavor. And it's amazing. I've already had some of it. This is what the tea looks like. You can see the rooibos and the lemongrass and the marigold leaves, and it just smells like a lemon drop, and it's amazing, and I can't get enough of this. I'm just sitting here in my living room. Still doing work, knocking out some bank wrecks, stuff like that. But the doors are open and it's quiet outside and I can just see greenery and hear birds chirping and I'm looking forward to this evening's walk and I'm sitting here, it's probably like, I don't know, 75, 78 degrees, just warm and sunny and here I am drinking hot tea. I could probably be living on the sun and I would still go for a hot tea over an iced tea. If I had to choose a favorite rooibos blend, I'm going to say it's probably Lemon Cloud rooibos from Adagio Teas. It's just, oh my gosh, dreamy, especially with just like a spot of honey. I mean, it's a lemony. There's just the slight creaminess from uh, the vanilla flavoring and with just the slightest bit of honey. Oh my gosh. It tastes like a lemon drop. It does taste like a lemon drop. I would even say this is better than the pecan turtle rooibos. Like that's how good this is. I'm just on lemon cloud nine. See what I did there? I think this is gonna be my last film, film, film session for the day because the husband will be home soon and we will be going for a walk. And, and then I had to figure out what to make for dinner. I just have ingredients for chicken enchiladas, but I really don't want to make that because we won't be eating until like nine. Um, but I wanted to give my Berry Blast iced tea a taste. Here we are, still nice and a brilliant dark maroon color. Um, I say it's okay. I think mostly I can just taste hibiscus in this, to be honest. Maybe like a slight mixed berry flavor. I feel like they have better fruit teas. Like their, their berry cream compote was really amazing. <laughs> oh my God, what face is that? This is just sort of, this to me is just sort of like a one note iced tea. It's just kind of tart uh, and ambiguously berry-like. I am really excited about that watermelon cooler though. That's probably going to be the next one that I make. And then I can be in control of uh, sort of how much tea I'm using as opposed to like the pre-measured pouches. I thought the pre-measured pouches would be for me because I have a really hard time for whatever reason. Um, getting my tea to water ratio spot on when it comes to iced tea. Like, I don't know why I'm so inept at it. That's the end of this video. Um, 
that's what I had to drink today. Really wasn't that much. I just had four glasses of tea. Although that's more than what I have been drinking lately. Now that it's iced tea season, I'm curious to know if you have a favorite iced tea that you go to for summertime. And if you appreciated this video, please consider liking, commenting, and subscribing. And we'll see you again soon. Bye-bye. I don't know, I just did a baby voice. Bye.